Fatal truck accidents are on the increase, and yet there is technology out there which could significantly cut down on accidents where large trucks rear in passenger vehicles. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprache is getting answers about why those systems aren't standard equipment on semi-trailer trucks. A fully loaded big rig can weigh up to 80,000 pounds, and when it's cruising at highway speed, it's not going to stop on a dime. If the driver's not paying attention or incapacitated, the results can be disastrous. That's what happened in March of 2004 when 23-year-old David Mathis and his wife were killed when the driver of an 18-wheeler fell asleep at the wheel. He ran right into them. The crash, the coroner told me he thought that the crash probably killed them then, but the car did spin around and go under the side of the truck, and that's when the it ex the gas tank exploded. Today, there are systems using radar to sense an obstacle in front of a truck and use automatic braking to stop it in time. It's a game changer. A new study by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says forward collision warning and automatic braking could eliminate these types of crashes significantly. From our study, both systems reduced about 40% of those collisions. Though some major fleets operating big rigs on our roads have voluntarily added these systems, the majority of truckers have not. But what's holding up the industry for putting it in every truck. What we think is needed is really a mandate uh, or a regulation from the DOT that requires all trucks to be produced uh, with these systems. Would you be in favor of a federal mandate to require that on all trucks? Absolutely. All Anything less than that is just not going to work. It has, it cannot be voluntary. It's estimated a system like this would add $2,500 to a new truck's price tag. But older trucks on the road can be retrofitted with a forward collision warning system for about a thousand bucks. Getting this technology into trucks now is something that, that can be done. Meanwhile, the European Union is far ahead of us. Since 2013, it's required not only automatic braking for trucks, but also forward collision warning systems. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.